and welcome to this Thimble Bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a triple crochet stitch. To start, I've already made a foundation chain consisting of nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We never count the one that's already on our hook. To start, I'm going to skip the first four chains. One, two, three, four. But before I insert my hook into the fifth chain, I'm going to yarn over twice, which is to bring the yarn over my hook so it'll catch, and we'll do that two times. Then insert our hook into the fifth chain, yarn over, pull through. That gives us four loops on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through two, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through those two, one loop on our hook. And that's how you make a triple crochet stitch. Those first four chains that we skipped in the beginning, that will also count as a triple crochet. So let's see that again. We're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, two loops, yarn over, pull through those, one loop. Yarn over twice, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, two loops, yarn over, pull through those, one loop. All right, let's go ahead and finish out this row, and I'll show you how to start the next row, which is also really easy. Okay, got the one last one here. All right, there's our first row. That gives us six triple crochets. To move up, we need four turning chains. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through. That makes one chain, two chains, three chains, and four chains. Then we're going to turn our work. Those four chains will count as your first triple crochet on this row. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into the next stitch, which is the second to last triple that we made on our first row. The difference between working off of a foundation row and working off of already made stitches is the number of loops you're going to insert your hook into. On a foundation chain, it's only one loop, but on already made stitches, it's two, a back loop and a front loop. Normally you're going to work out of both loops, but you do have some patterns that want you to work in the back loop only or in the front loop only. But it should be notated on that pattern if it wants you to do that. If you don't see any notations, then you just do as normal and work off of both loops. So let's see, we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into both loops, yarn over, pull through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, Yarn over, pull through two, two loops. Yarn over, pull through those, one loop. Yarn over twice, insert into the next one. Yarn over, pull through, four loops. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops. Yarn over, pull through those, one loop. Now on those four that we skipped in the beginning, you're not going to have two loops to insert your hook through, so we're just gonna go through the center on those. And then just finish this row up. And there you go, folks. That's how you do a triple crochet stitch. Now, if you do only triple crochets, you're going to end up with a really loose weave, but that's all right because it's good for any number of things. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and if so, please subscribe to the channel or visit the website www.thimblebell.com for more nifty ideas. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.